Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Brenda and I make faith-based content. I post new videos every Monday and now every Thursday as well. That is what I feel that the Lord is leading me to. So I was actually in the middle of recording a different video topic and I just felt a bit unsettled in my spirit and I just felt like this message needs to be put out there before I talk about um, what I was going to talk about. I was going to be talking about false teaching and how to be aware of it and see the signs of the false teaching but I'm just reminded of the people that Jesus has come to seek and to save and what it truly comes down to is Jesus' heart for the lost and for the fact that we are not saved by works. That is something that needs to be addressed first before we talk about what's going on in the church. I just want to come on here and talk about what it means to be the church what it means to be saved so i want to personally talk to the people that are struggling right now the people that are not perfect the people that know that they need a savior i'm going to read a scripture that you are all probably very familiar with and this is ephesians 2 verses 8 through 9 and this literally says how we are saved for by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of work, so that no one may boast. And so I also want to read, this is from Ephesians 1, and this is 13 through 14, and it's kind of giving a more visual of what Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 is saying, because it's by grace that you have been saved, it's by grace, it's by through your belief that you have been saved and made new and made right with God. So in 13 it says, In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it, to the praise of his glory. So we're seeing in Ephesians, in the first two chapters, that... We have an inheritance from God when we believe in him, when we accept Jesus' salvation for us and his sacrifice for us on the cross as our salvation from God, we are made right with God. And something that I also want to touch on with this is the fact that Jesus said in the Bible, Truly I tell you, you must be born again. This is in John chapter 3, and this starts at verse 5. Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. So, Jesus is literally saying in his word, and I feel like I say this a lot in my videos, but I just want to like really get the point across, I guess, because I feel like we tend to just hover over it. But it's like Jesus said that you literally have to be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. So then how are we born again? How are we saved? How are we in inheriting this new life? It's through grace. It's not through works. I'm not going to get into my testimony, but I will say that I was not searching for God when he saved me. If anything, I was going the opposite direction, but by his grace, he saved me. I was able to see him in a whole new way, and I, I believed, and I believe that Jesus was who he says that he was, and I asked for him to come into my heart and I asked to have new life in him and I accepted his sacrifice for me and that is when everything changed. 
I just remember specific moments where I was like, I am not the same person. No way did I ever used to think like this. I never had this thought pattern before. Like my nature is just new. I feel like I literally am living a new life. Like what is this? It was beautiful. It was like, it was like the feeling that you have like when you first start at a fresh job, but like I wasn't starting anywhere new. It was just, it was in my spirit. I was like, something is new something is different i am a changed woman like i was like blown away and that's what jesus means when he said you must be born again and when he says that it's by grace that you have been saved because it was definitely not for me trying to be perfect and trying to keep all of the rules and the regulations it was me realizing that I'm a sinner who needs a savior and accepting God's grace to me, accepting his gift of his son to me to be made right with him. And that is what changed me. Francis Chan uses the analogy a lot about how it talks in the Bible, how it's in Proverbs. And he talks about how a dog returns to his vomit and how, and he talks about how a pig always turns back to the mud. It's like you can clean the pig off, make it all squeaky clean, give it a little, you know, shampoo, whatever, and it will immediately run back to the mud because that's just in its nature. It loves mud. And he basically explains how that is like our, our spiritual walk. When we get saved, um, we have a sin nature. We are drawn to sin. We want to sin because we are children of Adam. We are born with sin. We are born with a sin nature. And so naturally, what do we want to do? We want to sin. It's just in our human nature. And then once you get the Holy Spirit in you, like once you get that deposit from God and you get that new nature in you, it doesn't feel right. You go out like you used to, you try to go to those parties, you try to hang out with those people, but something inside of you is like, I don't like this. This doesn't feel right. This isn't me. I'm not enjoying this. And that is just evidence of God's Holy Spirit in you and the new work that he has done in you. So what I do want to say in this video is that no works that you do, no matter how good of a person you are, the only way to get into heaven, to be right with God, to be made new, is to accept his gift of grace. While we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. So I just want to encourage you to be a living proof of God's grace. And instead of putting all these restrictions on people and judging them and having a Pharisee type of mindset. Remember how you earned your salvation, that it wasn't through what you did, but it's through who God is and what he did for you. And so yes, works comes through that. Like I said, it's in your new nature, you just, you don't want to do what you're used to doing. And of course, we're not perfect and it's a everyday battle until we come to completion when we see the Lord. But I just want to remind you of the simple yet powerful truth of grace and um, what that means in your everyday life as well. God loves you as much as he did the moment that you are saved as he does right now. It's not about your works. It's not about what you do. It's about who God is. So that is it for today's video. I hope that this encouraged you and inspired you to just meditate and remember God's grace and to extend that grace to others as well. I am very grateful for you guys watching and if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have an amazing and blessed and beautiful day.